Hello again from Relation Productions. Today I'm working on a project which involves the use of an edge finder to find a hole I'm looking to drill in two pieces of aluminum here. So I'm going to show you just a very brief tutorial on how to use an edge finder. Uh, first of all, I'm running the spindle at about 1000 RPM, which seems to be a good speed for using this particular model of edge finder. Now first, I'm going to work on the y-axis. I'm going to come in slowly and you'll see the edge finder. When I hit the edge, it'll move out of play. So it pops over like that all of a sudden. I'll back it off and I'll come up very slowly again. And right there. Now when we hit that point, I'm going to come down to my dial here and I'm going to hold the handle and I'm going to set the y-axis to zero. Right about there. Now we're going to back it up again and I'm going to slowly once again move it in and I'm going to see how close to zero it is. And there we look like we've hit it right on the nose, as you can see there. Right at zero. So we're good for the y-axis. The y-axis is zeroed out. We'll shut that off for a second. And we'll work on the x-axis now. Move that over and we'll get our edge finder back into place for feeling the edge on the x-axis. Now we're going to do it exactly the same way. I'm going to come in very slowly and we're going to watch carefully until the edge finder stops running out of true and then all of a sudden it will pop like that. Can you see that? Just like that. do it the same way. I'm going to take that and I'm going to hold my handle steady and I'm going to move the indicator wheel right to zero. And I'm going to back it up again and I'm going to come forward very slowly. And here you can see we're just a little bit off from zero. So once again I'm going to hone it in a little bit more and I'm going to move this indicator as close to zero as I can. And I'm going to back it up again and very slowly come in until it pops. Now you can see here we are indeed on the zero. So I'll shut that off. Now we have a reference point for where we know we are. Now we know that center of the spindle is exactly according to this edge finder 0.1 or a hundred thousandths away from the edge of the piece as it now is on the y-axis as well. So we have a reference point on our hand wheels when we want to come in and put our spindle exactly where we want our hole. And it's all a matter of doing calculations now on how to get exactly where that is. But that's basically how you use an edge finder. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.